which also, by the way, is, is particularly interesting because the UN is a government body that represents countries, same with the Olympics, yet they treat Palestine differently. Oh, is this on? It is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am currently homeless day like seven of like being homeless while I'm going to get ready to travel to Europe. Apologize, I don't have all the fancy editing and stuff that I often do in a lot of my videos with like a professional microphone. So bear with me is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I was sitting around the other day and I had this interesting thought. Why exactly is the Olympics treating different political territories different and kind of what we can draw from that? Now, this is actually a lot more interesting of a story than you would imagine. And the reason is because you're going to get some context about you have what is known as Chinese Taipei, which is otherwise known as Taiwan. And then you have the Palestinian Olympic Committee, which is Palestine, which also, by the way, is, is particularly interesting because the UN is a government body that represents countries, same with the Olympics, yet they treat Palestine differently. And the Olympic Committee, anything that says Olympic Committee, by the way, is oftentimes viewed as like a punishment, like the Russian Olympic Committee uh, is what the Russian Olympic team is called because they're being punished, so they're not recognized as officially Russia. Same thing with Palestine. But anyway, not to throw a ton of information at you like a frat guy trying to throw his digits out of bus window to a group of sorority girls, but that's where we at. So first, let's start with Chinese Taipei, otherwise known as Taiwan. So obviously, Taiwan is an independent government with its own currency that is near China. Now, the reason why they had started this was because, let me double check, I got some notes because I do not remember things perfectly all of the time. 23 million people, Taiwan was created after 1949 Chinese uh, war, where essentially the Communist Party had taken over China and then you had essentially everybody else who went to Taiwan. So then after that, Taiwan had spent a lot of time, a, well, a period of time in its history as a dictatorial government and eventually it became one of the more progressive places in Asia. So full circle back to China. So China has a government which is one country, two systems policy. And essentially what that means is that people are able to independently govern themselves. However, they're still considered under the Chinese banner. So you think of like Hong Kong, some of you guys might've known Jinjing, which is the, uh, how do we describe it? Jinjing? It's essentially like a group of individuals. It's essentially a Uyghur nation that is in a million person concentration camp, more or less in China. And so all these different areas are considered autonomous while simultaneously being a Chinese. And so what's interesting is that around 1981, Taiwan had these issues where they were a part of China in the Olympics and then they weren't. Well, around 1981, they considered themselves Chinese Taipei, which I think is pretty terrible because they can't actually represent themselves officially. However, that is a fascinating topic about self-determination though. I think we can all agree. Like for example, if, if Taiwan can branch off, then does that mean Texas can as well? You know, those sorts of things. Granted, Texas doesn't yet have its own currency and all these other things as well. Um, but anyway, that's something to consider. The other side of this is the Palestinian Olympic Committee. And so right now, Palestine is officially declared as its own country. And this was according to the 1947 UN partition plan, which says, okay, Israel, you guys have this little section. Palestine, you have this section. It was signed by Israel. It was signed by Palestine. It was signed by the international community. That was, or community, excuse me, that was consisting of the United States. And so for all intents and purposes, Palestine is its own thing. But that makes you wonder, why is it the Palestinian Olympic Committee and not just Palestine? That's where we get in some issues. For all of you who don't know, Russia had just received an official ban from the Olympics as a result of the fact that a lot of their athletes had tested for steroids. Go figure. As a result of that, they can't officially compete in the Olympics, thus having to create a new name, the Russian Olympic Committee. And if they happen to win or win medals, which they absolutely have, I believe they're in third at the moment, they cannot accept those medals as a part of their historical uh, medal count. So, one question that I have, I guess it's more of a rhetorical. If the Palestinian countries received medals, does Palestine receive those medals as well? And I haven't been able to find an official answer on that. But what I do find to be particularly fascinating is Chinese Taipei, who has won a couple, well actually they've won several medals at this point. They're able to accept their medals. But why don't we call the Palestinian territories either Palestine 
or had shown that they're underneath an Israeli governing body similar to China. And I don't even know if I have a point in this, other than to point out how the UN or the Olympic Committee or both are not very consistent with how they deal with self-determination, and maybe this is something that we should explore. But anyway, I don't know. I just felt like this would be something to bring up because I don't think a lot of people know this. And I also think that we should be talking more about these small minority groups such as Taiwan and the Palestinian areas because if there's smoke, there's fire. And if there's inconsistency between the two, then maybe this is something that we should further explore. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's okay for the Palestinian territories to be known as the Palestinian Olympic Committee? Or do you think it should be known as Palestine? Or do you not believe it exists at all. And then how does that relate to China? But anyway, let me know. Let me know.